Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a video on these um, electric lighters again and sort of not just this model but these in general and are they any good or not because I have lots of comments of people who are really interested in these and I think they're quite cool but they're also a bit impractical so I'll go into the reasons why and this isn't exclusive to this brand one, this is a V-Way or v -Way or whatever it is um, I find it's you know really sort of down to the actual sort of design of these lighters and people have said there are stick models which are better which you'll get into but basically these are sometimes called Tesla lighters, arc lighters, plasma lighters, flameless lighters, electric lighters, whatever and how these work is that uh, rather than using a flame what will happen is when you press the button in it shoots an arc of electricity across either one or two sort of um, sort of arcs, whatever you want to call them, sort of like Tesla coils. Um, so on the single models they have only like one like this and on the double models they have it where it will do it in the diagonal. So they look very cool. It isn't too heavy, it's about 100 grams maybe at most. And um, they're rechargeable and the battery supposedly has quite a lot of recharges sort of life in it. So what you do is just plug it in the bottom there into a sort of phone USB charger and that would charge it, you just charge it the same way as your mobile so it's a nice sort of cable that all the phones use except for our course iPhones but um, you know anything like Samsung, Sony, whatever they all use this connector so uh, once you've done that you get a lot of uses out of it and it's also pretty windproof uh, I did a video recently, I was testing windproof lighters and this didn't do as well as I was hoping but it turns out that was because the battery was getting low so it wasn't as strong as it usually is Now. The flaw of these lighters is they have a good design feature so you can't activate it when it's in your pocket because when the lid's down it doesn't work. You have to lift the lid a certain amount before it works. And one of the problems um, is with this design is that if you're trying to light certain things it's really hard to get the lighter to touch because you need to get something to pretty much touch the electric arcs to light. So <clears throat> if you're lighting a cigarette or something like this is designed for, very simple, you just put the cigarette in, you know, press the lighter, you've got it. Um, but if you're trying to light a candle, say, if it's a candle with a, I can demonstrate this to you. So if you had a candle with basically a long wick, you'd be absolutely fine. However, if you had a candle that's in a sort of glass jar, like one of these, you're not going to be able to light it just simply because you can't get that in close enough, which is the problem with these. So. Be aware, obviously, that a normal lighter is much better if you're trying to get in there. So, say you have a jet lighter or whatever, you could just turn that upside down, shoot that, light it up. And even when it's sort of something like this, it can still be quite hard to get that in close enough, as you can see. So that's one of the problems with these lighters, is as much as they look cool, um, they can't light that practically just simply down to the sort of fail-safe design. Now what I've been told in comments is that there are stick versions of these and I've seen a video of them but I've never seen them for sale. Where it's kind of like a longer rod and then it's got a hole at the bottom with the two sort of prongs in. So you could with like one of those just simply put it down onto that then press the button it would activate. A bit like you know those kitchen lighters for lighting a stove or a hob on the sort of you know cooker. It's like one of those but an electric one and smaller but the idea is that you've got reach with it. Not sort of like this where you can't get it next to anything. Now, I will show you that it does light surprisingly well when you use it on paper and things such as that. So if I put this here and this here, I'm going to show you what happens. You obviously move it into the beams. And there we go. You've got a nice really big flame really quickly there. So I'll just put that out now, but um, that will uh, work really well. Um, so what does this work about lighting? Obviously cigarettes, that's what these are designed for. Things like candles with long wicks, so the tall sort of church style candles. Uh, you can light incense with it, because obviously that's like a stick, so that'll work. And papery type things. It's basically, as long as you can fit something between the arcs, it will light it, and it lights it very well. Um, and obviously there's no smell of burning or anything, so it's quite clean and it's rechargeable. But as I said, the problem with these are that you can't reach a lot of things. So I don't think these are going to... And I don't know how they do if you dropped it in a puddle compared to a normal lighter. I imagine it might be quite dangerous. Um, so, 
I don't think these are going to replace normal lighters anytime yet for sort of everyday utility use, but they are quite cool and um, they're appearing a bit cheaper now online. So, personally, I say if you see one of the stick type ones for sale, get one because that'd be a lot more useful. The ones like this, they're very cool, they're like nifty little gadgets, but obviously just use a normal lighter if you're wanting a lighter for a lighter's sake. Uh, you know, just a cheap butane sort of clipper or zippo will do. Uh, well, that's a, you know, fuel lighter zippo, but that's sort of the point I'm getting at, that they're better lighters. So, but yeah, if you want something that's a cool little gadget, these will do. But don't believe the people who tell you, you know, these are, at the moment, the best lighters you can possibly get, because they're just very good at lighting cigarettes and paper and anything that fits between there, but they're not anywhere close to being as practical as a good jet lighter for, you know, all round usage you can get from a lighter. So that's my thoughts on these electric arc lighters.